Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. We are finally getting these bookshelves up and I'm going to decorate them today with all kinds of our favorite things from the old house. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. You guys, I cannot believe we finally got this thing up. It has been taking forever. More so not the project, but just the time for my husband and I to actually get everything from storage, moved over and get these puppies on the wall. I cannot wait to show you. Let's jump right into it. Don't mind that. Don't look at that. They're gonna install them finally today. These, I like these. So we haven't decided if we're gonna put um, little doors on these or not, but I'm so excited. Okay guys, this is how she's coming along. Here's the first one. And then the second one will go up. God, it just transforms this space. Trying to conceal that there's a like flat wall there. Trying to give this thing some purpose, right? So then what we're gonna do is take our art collection and tomorrow I'm gonna to take this mirror down and we're gonna put a gallery together for this wall, which I think is gonna look really beautiful. So that's exciting. Day, we are going to fill this in. I am so excited. Let me see if I can. Here is everything from the old house. All the decor. Random decor. I like that. Um, this is really exciting. Okay, we're gonna um, get all this in the house and I'll see you over there. I was so excited to see that my drift came. I've shared this many times on my channel. It is a cool new product that I actually found because I love Scentbird and they are a sister company of Scentbird, but they create air care products for your car and your home. All the materials they use are sustainable and their scents are made from natural essential and fragrance oils. The car products range between nine and $15, so they are super affordable. What's cool about car fresheners is that you can get them as a subscription. First, you receive your starter kit with the clip and the scent, and then you can just get monthly refills recommended changing every 30 days or so. I find that mine still smells amazing after 30 days, but the best part about their um, monthly orders is you can get a scent of the month, which features a new limited edition scent. They're inspired by seasons. I love their fall one. It's one of my favorites. You can tuck it in to anywhere in your house. People won't even see it and won't know where it's coming from, but it will smell delicious. So if you're like me and you wanna have the best smelling house or car this year, definitely check out Drift. They are offering my viewers exclusively 55% off. That's less than $5 for your first month by using code Lauren. I will put a link in the description down below. Thank you so much to Drift for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, let's get unpacking. Okay, so what we're gonna do, oh, you guys remember this? <gasps> Yay! Wild how much stuff that we didn't realize went to storage that probably shouldn't have. Um, so much good stuff. So, oh, I love that. I like that. <gasps> My mom? Oh, I can't wait. Ooh, this is my baby album. This is my mom's golfing stuff. This is Annie, her dog. I don't know who this is. Oh. Um, Annie's in there. I'll go put that near my mom. They can hang out today. Anyway, we have a lot to go through here. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's get started. I'm gonna put some music on and I cannot wait to go through all of this. It feels like we just moved in.
get started, we were just unboxing books and stacking them according to subject and kind of whether they're um, literary books or editorial books or informational books. It kind of just, we wanted to keep everything alike and then start to put them on the shelf. So if you're looking for architectural books or gardening books or wine books, whatever, they are all in one place. We're probably going to end up putting um, some cabinets, or I'm sorry, I keep calling these cabinets, um, some doors on these lower shelves. And you'll see why at the end, it just looks really cluttered. But once we put those on, I think it's going to look really beautiful. It made it a lot easier to put all the books in here, having them totally open. But I was going through the boxes while my husband was putting them away. And it turns out absolutely beautiful. You'll have to wait till the end because we didn't finish all of this in the first night. It took a whole lot longer than I thought it would. But the next fun part about this project is we got to go pick out all the little pieces that we save from like our wedding and our grandparents and great grandparents and children. And there's just so many wonderful memories tucked in this um, bookshelf. I cannot wait to show you guys how it all turns out. <music> Okay guys, we are making progress. So we slowly got all the books that were sitting over here just kind of up there. And now we're just kind of moving them around and um, adding in some of our favorite little things. There's like things from my childhood, my husband's childhood, my son wanted to put some of his things in here. So that's really fun books. We've read him over the years. I have some, some of these books are from when I was a kid. Some are from, um, my kid's childhood. Some are just new, great books, little encyclopedias. I think I've broken every single nail I have. Well, not that I glue on, obviously those aren't mine, but yeah, they're looking pretty ratchet. So, um, what we're doing right now is going through and trying to do um, like themes. So these are like travel, houses, um, I think this is gardening, fashion, interiors, wine, cooking, a lot of old books. Uh, Ron and I both have great collections of old books. I have some from my mom, he has some from his grandparents. So we're just slowly adding those into here. And um, then we'll show you how it comes together. I'm already getting so excited to decorate this for Christmas. It kind of reminds me of that um, Christmas Santa's library decor I did, I think last year or this year, I don't remember. But we still have so much to do. The house is a bit of a mess. I'm slowly boxing up things. Um, this is stuff from our other house that I can give away. Just stuff we don't use in this like rando. Anyway, it's coming together. I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Oh, girls, you want to come out? Come on. <laughs> Welcome, Renny. You guys want to come out for a little bit? Oh, I see things growing. Who threw bread in there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And let me guess. Lucky number seven is brooding. Look at these eggs, you guys. We just got eggs out of here yesterday. What are you doing? Oh my God, there's more. Oh, 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 Blanca. Blanca's butt. Come on. You need to come out of there. I love these. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Look at how angry you are. You're so tiny. Come on, Salty. Come on. Oh, you're so angry. But you're so cute. I love you. You want to eat salt? I know. Come here, baby girl. <laughs> I hear Blanca's like, oh, no, 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 no. If you're bringing food out. You guys just laying eggs wherever now? Hi. I wonder where this bread... Oh, I know where this bread came from. Okay. Ooh, gross, nasty. Immediate, immediate dirt bath. Hi. Hi. Look at her Blanca. Pump. Oh, it's my baby. It's my baby. We had such a good Sunday. Oh, you're so cute. Get your, get your dirt bath on. That's right. You get in there and dirt bath. 
How am I gonna have a garden? Huh? How am I gonna have a garden with this? This is how it all starts. Are those mangoes good? Mm -hmm. I love it. Are you videoing? Yeah. So here's my little seeds. They're doing very well. Very happy. Stuff is happening here, but just really slowly. This is our little cat, our little um, um, insect house. These are looking good. So I'm gonna give these a quick water while the chickens dirt bath. Oh, don't do that, that's so rude. Pump. Blanca. <laughs> Salty! Salter! You wanna come dirt bath? They're so cute. Alright, let's go clean the groceries. You're so cute. Is Tuna out here? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, you know what else I have to do, Pump? We need to go get all the eggs. Baluna! Yeah. <gasps> Who's the sweetest kitten in the world? Huh? Who's the sweetest kitten? Hi. We missed you today. We had a family day. Yeah. Yes. You are part of the family. Yes, you are. I love you too. I love you too. You cuddling up? Yeah, oh, you you probably missed us today, huh? Yes, you did. I missed you, too. Yes, I did. I missed you, too. You were covered in pollen. So you definitely went to the vineyard. Not good. No, it's not good for you. It's dangerous over there. Please don't do that. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> yes, you were so happy. You are a very happy girl. I got chickens. Hey, Coco, me. They were like, oh, the dirt bath song? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Hi. Yes, I love you very much. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I bet Blanca. Was hey, hey, hey. Oh, I knew you were being a stinker. Let them bathe. You broody old brooder. Look at this. This is how it all goes down, guys. This will be a very strange uh, gardening year for me. God, they're so cute, though. Uh, Blanca. Nope. I did. I just loved on her. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, we are not. There you go. Get on, get. We decided to give this a rest for a little bit and the kids and I wanted to make something to eat. So we actually took the kids to dinner this particular evening. My husband is still working on kind of putting all the books all the way up to the top. That is a 12 foot um, bookshelf. So he's kind of working on that. And I thought it'd be nice to make some banana bread because I had some rotten bananas. Um, I don't usually make banana bread. It's not one of my favorite things to do. And I have an absolute confession. I don't like baking. And there's two reasons why I don't like baking. One, I am not patient. Well, I guess I am patient. I think the real reason I don't like baking is I don't eat sweets. I have no affinity for sweets. I don't like it. Um, I know I put sugar in my coffee, but that's probably the sweetest thing I consume ever. So I'm usually not very motivated to make something sweet, but my kids love these types of things. So I'm happy to make it for them. I'm motivated to make it for them, but never for myself. Um, I also like, I will spend an hour making like a chipotle sauce, but I won't spend 20 minutes throwing together a banana loaf, which is silly because it only takes a couple minutes. So I looked online, found a recipe that was very good. And then I also kind of iterated off of it and did a couple of my own things. Banana bread is very easy to make, but if you do have some rotten bananas, definitely make banana bread. You can also make them in muffins. You can also freeze these and put them in smoothies, which is also very good.
While the banana bread was baking and the kids were outside playing and I wanted to just clean up my mess here so I'm just going to wipe everything down. I have three of these stand-up mixers and I don't bake often so I definitely need to get rid of some of them because I don't use them that often. Um, the other thing about baking is just so messy. I don't know. Tell me in the comments down below. Are you a big baker? What's a good trick you can give me to get me interested in baking because I'm just not a big baker. The kids left the door open and look who joined me in the kitchen. I couldn't help myself but spend a little time with Blanca. She's my first love. Before I even started YouTube, I want to say we've had Blanca for almost six years. She would come into the house and lay with me and watch movies and she never pooped on me and she's just a perfect perfect angel. She's been very broody lately so I wanted to give her some extra lovies and I decided to give her a little banana and she absolutely devoured it. I went ahead and changed after my love fest with Blanca and pulled out our banana bread. It was super delicious. I wanted to give some to the kids. And then I'm going to take you on a tour of how the bookshelf has turned out. It took my husband about two days to get everything really organized well in here. So I'm really excited to show you how it turned out. As you know, it's going to keep evolving, but here is a sneak peek on how it turned out. I can't begin to tell you how special some of these things are. My, hu my husband and I took our son to um, a car show in Pebble Beach last year and the maker of the Koenig's Egg and Pagara signed these for our son and I just thought that was super cool. I love that he wanted to add it here. And then this little picture I've had since I was little, I just loved romance as a little girl and I feel so lucky that I'm living a fairy tale of my life right now. But when I was little, I just couldn't wait to become a wife and have a family. I have so many little small things in here that are so special of my husband's. That headless um, soldier actually fell in an earthquake that destroyed our house in 2014 and we had to rebuild. And um, it's just a really wonderful space to be in. You guys know it's been a little bit hard for us to settle into this house. And part of that is there's really nowhere for us to put all of these wonderful memories. So. It's been really special to actually have all these things at home and the kids have been running over and grabbing books and we're so excited to see some of their favorite books as a kid. I even found a couple of books that were mine from when I was a kid and it really just felt so good. It felt so much at home. We put mom there at the top to oversee all the things in Grand Central Station up there. Um, I'd like to bring her down soon though because I miss her terribly, um, but I think it turned out absolutely beautiful.
this area turned out, we ended up moving that little bench over here. I think we're gonna put a little bar here. So if you are in this front room, maybe having some more formal um, guests over, we can do that. I don't know if I've ever shared these pieces with you guys. I got them at Home Goods and I just love them. Um, I just think they're super cool. Um, I like that kind of artwork. My husband doesn't, but I love that we both mix a little bit of old world versus new world. Enzo misses you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to say hi to Enzo. But this is how the space looks and feels now. It really does give purpose to this wall. I think once we put doors on the lower part, it will be maybe a little less dark and cluttered. But as you know, we're going to keep playing with it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and joining us on our journey as we make this house our home. It feels so good to have some of our favorite things back here that we can share with our kids. We had all of our photo albums delivered. I couldn't find them anywhere. And it was very grounding to get all of this unpacked and be able to enjoy it and share great memories with our kids. Thank you again to Drip for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check the link down below and join me in having a much more beautiful smelling house and car this year. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.